Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Leon and welcome to my life. Okay guys, so today we're getting straight into a little cute daily vlog along with a mukbang. I'm in my room right now, super cute, super bland. I actually painted this box by myself and put brands on it. Okay, this is really cute. <laughs> Sorry, ignore the dust. Let's just pretend I've cleaned. It's a bit dodgy, but then again, it's kind of cool. And you know what? We're all about innovation on this channel. So I thought it'd be a bit spontaneous, had a bit of fun. It looks like a little bit of an Oreo, but inverted. Today, we're going to go down to the shops, another fun outing. We've been in lockdown now for nearly three months, but we're not going to get into that just yet. We're going to be discussing some pretty tough, intimate topics. I'll see you in the car. Genuinely, I haven't done a vlog like this in a hot minute. I actually have missed this so much because obviously there's nothing to do in quarantine. Baby, I need to know what the one who takes you home. underground now we have no signal anymore it was a fun sesh i appreciate the sesh all right guys the quality is quite low right now but that is okay because this is only temporary we're about to hop in to the shop i have my super cute mask be safe be kind you know when you're in a car park underground and cars are just screeching it sounds like people are rally racing guys that was the quickest i've ever been in my life how fast did I get my little bag of sushi? I literally walked in, got served immediately, and here I am, already back in the car after like three minutes. Look, I was expecting to walk into the shop and it'd be a uh, straight ghost town, but it was actually really, really packed. I'm putting on hand sanitizer, you know, I'm just not in the mood to catch something. I don't have time. You would think I have all the time in the world, I just don't. See this, guys? This is our road to 1K subscribers. So slap that subscribe button and join it while we're still a cute and small family. We've parked, I'm looking at some construction workers right now. As you can see by this little disco going on in the back, we have gotten our sushi. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. It's my usual. If you guys have watched my Jexican mukbang and that's basically Japanese and Mexican infusion that me and my friend Tanisha came up with. I'm gonna link that down for you. I found something a little bit nasty in that piece of sushi. So if you're quizzical, if you're curious, I suggest go watching that. It's called an inside out roll. I'm not 100% sure, but I love these things. Tuna and cucumber, chicken and cucumber. I think that's crab and cucumber. And then that's just the veggie one, which is cucumber and avocado. So I'm going to inhale the whole thing because I'm really hungry. I might have to turn on the air conditioning in this car at one point because it always comes in this cute bag. It kind of looks like Subway. I got this because sushi makes me thirsty as hell. What's happening? Okay, there is a lot. We're going to start off with a dressing. Oh, mmm. Mmm, 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 I'm just grabbing my chopsticks. I want to as well find out from you guys. This is, it's been on my mind a little bit. What is your favorite thing to see from me? I've made a, quite a big genre of videos trying to see what you guys really like. And of course I do it because I love it. It's Miyagi so air conditioning i really love doing like sit down mukbangs and vlogs i want to see what you guys want to see more of i have a full list plan for you guys when this lockdown ends first topic lockdown before we get into the lockdown we're going to try one we'll just start with the tuna one delicious look at it oh yum <laughs> yum i'm laughing because it's so good i'm just crying it's that good I've been in lockdown nearly three months now. And when I say I, I mean my state in Australia. And you know what? To be quite frank, I've had it. I've absolutely had it. I'm sure everyone else has had it. My point I was going to say is as soon as this is over, I have an entire plan for you guys. I have so, so much to do. Like I've literally wrote down a list of all the videos I'm going to be making for you guys. Stay tuned. The end of the year is going to be pretty hectic on this channel. The only reason I haven't been able to vlog as much for you guys, because obviously that's how I started my channel, because where can I go? What can I really do? Lockdown is ending very, very soon for us. They don't have an exact date because they never do. I'm excited to know that a lot is gonna hopefully go back to normal quick intermission chicken and cucumber roll super cute this one's a little bit more dry <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere and a thousand and one trucks just pulled up next to me parked 
God knows I wasn't moving though. Now we have the crab and cucumber. You can't really even. There you go, a little bit. And these have those fish eggs on the outside, like caviar. Cheers. Mm -hmm. can't wait for summer i can't wait for the beach can't wait for shopping to eat at a restaurant go out to clubs again next tiktok i've been thinking a lot and i need your guys opinion this is just the cucumber avocado here we go a little bit better <gasps> that avocado is really good today mm, nice and ripe mm -hmm. If you guys check like my descriptions in the video or the about page on my YouTube, you see that I don't have like links to like social medias and stuff for good reason. I really love YouTube, but I'm not the biggest like social media kind of person. I do have a Twitter that's at Liana of life. It should have been life of Liana, but that was taken. So at Liana of life, I want to interact with you guys in multiple ways. So I'm thinking everybody in the world literally has TikTok, Instagram, all that type of good stuff. And I don't have TikTok in general. So let's get into a little story time. Liana, why don't you have TikTok? Everyone in the world has TikTok. What about you? Are you behind? No, guys, I'm not behind and I don't live under a rock, actually. When it first came out, this is the tuna and cucumber by my I got it within the first week because I heard it switch from musically to TikTok. I was instantly, instantly hooked. One second. Mmm. I was always on there 24 7 making things like all in the drafts. I never posted anything. I remember like that Mariah Carey song. You keep it popping, you keep it popping. No, I am that you. Wait, what is it? Why are you so obsessed? Wait, wait, sorry. I've been here for the last two minutes trying to think when everybody knows. And then the hand flap at the top. Anyways, either way, bottom line, I was there. I was at the gate singing hallelujah. I would go on at eight o'clock at night and lose time. Why do you think it's called TikTok? TikTok lose track of the clock. I trademarked that. I was losing sleep on school nights, desperately praying to get an hour of sleep the next night but i didn't because tiktok was so addictive the for you page is designed to know exactly you and you only and it was getting really really bad so i thought one day cleanse cut slash i cut it out of my life uninstalled it and have gone now strong without it for like a year and a half now i have no clue no sense of time hence why the app was perfect for me like i watch instagram reels now that's kind of like my my puff let me know if you guys want to see me on tiktok now with the topic about instagram it's been long awaited but next video it is something to do with instagram that's all i'm gonna say for now they should really put some sauce in the chicken one <laughs> i really like this tuna is my favorite number one and crabs my number two honestly the chicken's been my last i didn't try sushi until like two three years ago i always thought i didn't like it because i would look at it be like, Ew, fish. And I just didn't have a matured palate. I am embarrassed for younger Liana. So I still am yet to try oysters since being a child. Because I feel like I love everything. A lot of things people don't like. Olives being one, I'll eat them straight from the jar. Which is why I believe oysters will be really good for me. So I'm going to have to hop on that. The avocado cucumber one. Double cheese. There is sheep crossing the road right in front of me welcome to australia down to my final row sushi is really really filling for some other news my 19th birthday is happily and sadly coming next week happy because i'm turning 19 i can officially say i'm really in the adult years sadly because i'm still in lockdown so i can't do anything with friends or family of course like my family at home it's gonna be cute we're probably gonna do like a barbecue have cake I guess but it's okay it's 19 it's a bit of an odd year it's a bit of a random number if it was my 18th or my 21st I would absolutely neck tuna and cucumber why am I still saying and looking at it as if I haven't just already had two rows of the same thing mm. another thing I really want to get into like fashion and by fashion I mean a new style for some I feel like every girl goes through this or guy you know they have their waves of wanting to burn their entire wardrobe and starting from scratch I have a lot of pieces and stuff that I've been looking at online that I'm really vibing but I don't know what style is me you know like if I go to the shops I will leave at 9 be in there by 10 a.m and go home at like 4 p.m so I'm spending a solid school day at the shopping center every level every shop maximized efficiency for optimum purchases onto the chicken. 
I want to look super swaggy, but I also want to look super cute, petite and refined and older. But I don't know how. So if anybody has any ideas or any type of just anything, YouTube is literally my happiness. Like When I'm doing this, I'm really, really happy, which is why I'm really thankful for you guys who are sticking around. And I just want to make that very, very clear. I've wanted to be a YouTuber my entire, entire life. And to be able to now sit and actually talk to people who are listening and watching and interacting, it warms my heart. So if you are ready to jump on this train of the life of Liana, L-O-L, LOL, because my life is a joke, slap that subscribe button or get the hell out of the way. I said what I said. And to the final Crabberino. Mm. Oh my God, everything right now is literally going dizzy. Everything's like ringing in my ears. Do you guys know that feeling when you faint? I don't know if, <laughs> if you haven't fainted, you're normal, congratulations. When you're gonna faint, you're like really lightheaded. Things start ringing in your ear and you're just like, everything gets peaceful. A little bit too peaceful. And that's how I know that I'm going down. A tip and trick is you have to lie down and elevate your feet. Oh my god, I can't believe I haven't even had a sip, a sip of water this entire time. Who do I think I am? A camel? That was the most intense moment of my life. Water shot up my nose, I burped in my mouth, I sneezed all consecutively. So yeah, guys, like I said, next video is something a little bit interesting, something to do with Instagram, social medias, communication. It's a little bit of a treat for you, a little bit of a treat for me. It's the first of my many, 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 many announcements to come in this family. And I'm planning on being here for a long time, so buckle up, boys. An old man just walked out in his bath towel. As I was saying before, I was mortified to the last sushi. I'm really loving this ripe avocado. Mmm. How? We have seen sheep. We have seen naked men in towels. We have seen a lot of fun things. And if you want to keep seeing fun things, click that video down in my description because it will not disappoint. There's always something crazy going on. <sighs> I'm quenched.